Hello, this is Mr. Buffington from Simplify Academy, and we are looking at multiples today. We're going to talk about what multiples are, and we're going to give some examples and practice. Let's get into it. If you can, you can. If you are capable of multiplying, you are capable of finding multiples. It really is that simple. There's nothing else to it because multiples are found by multiplying. Really that simple. So let's talk about some multiples of six. Multiples of six would be six times one. There we have it, or six times 20, right? When we multiply numbers times six, we get different numbers that are called multiples of six. And that's what we have right here several different multiples of six. Now you'll notice that there are an infinite number of multiples of six. I could do six times one, six times two, six times three, six times five, six times a hundred, six times a thousand, six times fifty-five billion, two hundred thirty-five thousand. So there's an infinite number of multiples. So we can't just say, tell me some multiples of six and then have you go because then you'd never be able to stop or tell me all the multiples of six. It's impossible to list them. But what we can do is list multiples in order and have some kind of a restriction on which multiples you're going to show me. So here's an example. If I wanted to list some multiples of six, I could do six times one, which is six and six times two six times three, six times four, six times five, six times six. And then I've listed the multiples of six from one through six. These are all multiples of six. We would sometimes say these are the first six multiples of six. Okay, there are examples of multiples of six. What I'd like you to do is think about the multiples of eight. What would be the multiples of eight? Just the first six. Go ahead and fill in this little kind of invisible table that I have here. I have eight times one, eight times two, eight times three, eight times four, eight times five, and eight times six. And we could do multiples of three, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. Keeping an organized list of multiples can be a little bit complicated, but it can also be really easy if we use tools like the multiplication table. We've seen this before. It's a list of all the numbers one through 10 and their multiples. So you can list out the multiples in order. That's literally what this is. It's a helpful tool to have around if you're trying to find multiples of a different number or if you're um, trying to determine is 63 a multiple of nine um, or if you're saying what are a couple of multiples of nine? Well, 18, 36, and 63, those are three. So this is a helpful tool to help finding multiples. A couple of things that you could expect. Um, there are some question types that you might get in this um, worksheet and quiz, and I wanna prepare you for all of those. You could be asking, which of the following is a multiple of 13? And you'll be given maybe four options like this, A, B, C, D. In our first method, you could just list multiples in order. I could say 13 times one, 13 times two, 13 times three. Oh, and stop when I find the an answer that is a multiple. Notice option D is definitely um, a multiple because 26 is a multiple of 13. Another way you can find if a number is a multiple of 13 would be to use division, and that's our second method. So I could take each of those options, A, B, C, D, and divide them by 13. Watch what happens. 20 divided by 13 gives me this 1.538, on and on. 6.5 divided by 13 is 0 0.5. 33 divided by 13 is 2.538, and 26 divided by 13 is 2. The only number that gives you a whole answer response is the multiple. So that's one way. And in some cases, when you get numbers like this, 
it probably was faster to just list multiples of 13. But in some cases, it might be quicker to do division to find your multiples. So I want to show you both methods and give you another example. Here's a, a bit more of an example here with the number 4. Which of the following is a multiple of 4? 224, 326, 421, or 25. Now, the challenge with this one <laughs> is that the numbers are larger. So now you'll see method one of listing multiples becomes somewhat problematic. I did go ahead and list all of the multiples of four until I finally got up to 224. But you can see that that would take a lot more time. And in this case, using division would actually be a lot quicker. The first answer, 224 divided by four gives us 56. 326 divided by 4 gives us a decimal, this one gives us a decimal, this one gives us a decimal. So the only answer that can be correct is, is 224. Again, two methods for finding multiples. You can either list multiples starting at your number times 1 until you get to the an answer that works, or you can use division and kind of the process of elimination with the answer options. Both methods work, both methods are fine, both show that you understand what a multiple is. Um, and sometimes method one is faster, sometimes method two is faster, so I wanted to prepare you for either one, and that's why I showed you both methods. A couple things to keep in mind. To find multiples, you multiply the multiplication table is a great tool for helping with this, and division can also be a great tool for finding multiples. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.